I hope you've been enjoying all the content coming to you from everyone around the world working to bring DevNet to every country. I'd like to share with you a very special story. Back in 2015, I was at my first Cisco Live. It was Cisco Live in Cancun. And hey, you'd think I'd made it. My awesome team, the dCloud team had sent me to Cisco Live Cancun. Um, I was really starting to make a name for myself for being helpful and celebrating people in my social media stories. I was as high in my career as I had ever been. And I didn't know that I needed to go even higher. That's when I met someone very special, a great teacher who taught me about the importance of partnerships and helping others go even higher in their careers because that's really good for everybody. So now it's my honor to welcome my friend, Mo. Thank you, uh, Sylvia. I'm, I'm blushing right now. And um, I appreciate this story and I remember it very, very clearly and I had a great time there in, uh, in, at Cisco Live and it was a pleasure meeting you as well. Thank you. It was, um, I was, you know, just a kid with a backpack and, and an iPad and what you told me was a pretty crummy phone. So I, I got a better phone since then. Um, but, you know, all joking aside, you are someone who's accomplished who has accomplished so much in his career, and yet you stay humble. And I, I think that's part of the secret to your success. So uh, can you tell us how you've managed to stay humble, even after everything you accomplished? Sure, sure. But before that, let me just spell my entire name in here, just to make sure that, uh, you know, it, it is Mo Abdel, because it's easier for people to say Mo, but my entire name uh, is Mohammed Abdel Khalik. And if you have the urge to call me Mohammed Alcoholic, just call me Mo. Uh, been with Cisco uh, 22 and a half years, and it's been an awesome, awesome experience. Met a lot of great people, and really that what makes me humble every single day. The people that I meet, the people that I learn from, the people I share stories with. And I've been always working with partners. I've always been focusing on partner success because as we always say, we love our partners. They actually take our technology and they deliver our technology to the customers. So they satisfy the customers and we always work with them and we always enhance those relationships with them. But what really makes me humble and uh, it's just my love for the people, right? It's for the diversity, for the different backgrounds, for the different thinking, for the human kindness that we always see all the time. That to me, um, Sylvia, is extremely important, right? And lastly, humble, in my humble opinion, puts those um, big egos aside, right? And I always say, less egos, more amigos. Okay? It's very, very important. And you know what? I'm going to show you something. I just don't say it, but I actually found, I don't think you can see this. I found a nice t-shirt that actually says that. Because Bring it up. It really, Read the bottom. It says less egos. Oh, I see. Less amigos. egos, more amigos. You know, that that what makes us human beings. So for me, humble makes a person a human being, a better human being. So... So it's, uh, we talk a lot about learning things. Um, and of course that's important, learning new skills, learning how to use tools. What you're saying is we need to remember to learn people, to, to learn how to relate to other people, how to make partnerships. So how does that drive innovation? How does, you know, paying attention to people and making sure that you are learning from them, how does that drive innovation as a whole? So innovation, is uh, oh it's just it's an ocean right innovation to me uh sylvia is what keeps the world uh and people progressing right it's it, it innovation is when we are actually putting together um things that people don't expect you know i always love to give people things that they did not know they need right Innovation to me is predicting major problems 
and thinking about the solution, right? Predicting, right? We are at Cisco. Uh, we we have eighty percent of of data of world data goes through Cisco, so we know what our customers, what our constituents, what our employees, our partners need. We we could predict what they look for. So when we put these diverse minds, diverse cultures, diverse thinking together, we can come up with great things to actually address those big problems, big issues. So for me, innovation is what drives everything. Having that diversity, especially within the Cisco community, and being able to really respect each one's opinion and be able to really gain that experience from each one, that brings up great ideas, great innovations, great technologies, right? And that's why Cisco is one of the best companies on the globe right now because we're able to really predict and be able to solve big issues, whether it's environment issues, whether it's technology issues, whether it's uh, human issues. Those are really important for us to really keep going. So that's innovation to me is everything. And that give, gives us the chance to really think out of the box. I know it's a, a cliche to say that, but we always think out of the box all the time. So you're talking about Cisco and the global community as part of everything that Cisco does. But I know you're a great big fan of DevNet. You, you're... Um, one of the people who, uh, you know, who, who, I wouldn't say introduced me to Susie Week because I knew Susie already, but uh, you, you and I and Susie were on different teams, and then we started working together. So why, why were you one of those early adopters and early proponents of DevNet when it was just starting out, especially when it comes to partners? So DevNet had a, a soft place in my heart, and the reason for that, Sylvia, is because. We're giving tools, we're giving ways for partners to distinguish themselves, to be able to have something different, to be able to customize the way they want to go and deliver technology. So we give them tools, we give them uh, platforms to go and work on things that they want to really deliver to customers that they might not even know that they need. And that's their part of the innovation. So, you know, I, my message to all my partners, to all our partners, is to really leverage DevNet because that's how it will distinguish you and make sure that you are, you know, leveraging the capabilities that you already invested in to even deliver better and more offers, more solutions, more technologies to your customers. So DevNet, really provides that. And again, and I said this in the last interview, I want all our partners globally to actually go and check it out and make sure that they are taking advantage of the platform, the resources, the certification that just became available for, for DevNet. Those are really, really important. And I hope they all join because they will, it will make a difference for them both on satisfying their customers and increasing their profits. That's really key for our partners. And what's your hashtag? Hashtag, we love, we love our, our partners. partners. We love our partners, and we do. We do. Our partners represent more than 80% of Cisco's revenues. So that, that's, that's huge for us. So every investment that we make, we're actually making it in our partners. Now, I let's go. You know, we, we've traveled, I think we've been to every Cisco Live. You and I have been to we every have. Cisco Live. Cancun, we um, well, uh, Europe, the Americas, and then uh, in Melbourne. Um, I, since we you have. are my... my... And we, tried, we have, we have, and we tried every food that we can in every area, which was amazing. <laughs> Highlights. Donner in uh in berlin and then there was uh it was delicious and and uh, i really appreciate Absolutely. you you know introducing me to some new foods that was that was also Absolutely. part of learning now since you are my great mentor and teacher 
I, I want to share another story. And this one was something I didn't really understand the importance of at the time, but that I thought of about a lot. It was in Berlin, 2016. And you said, Sylvia, take, take an hour and come with me to the partner pavilion. And you made sure we went to every single partner booth. And the way it was set up in Berlin, there, there was a building uh, with a big room. And then there was another big room inside another building. So you had to go outside in the winter time. So it was nice and warm. Yes. Then you had to run outside just the distance from one building to the other. And then there was the second pavilion with partners there. And the reason why I remember this is because it, it took a long time, but we actually went to every partner booth and you introduced me to every single partner and we talked to them about what Cisco technology are they using, how they're differentiating, are they on social media, are, there, are they sharing their stories on social media, are they following the influencers within the Cisco community? Um, and that's really how a lot of this, um, you know, this work that I've been doing with partners started because you introduced me to people and I can't thank you enough for that. And I, I, I want to, you know, pay that forward and help other people too. So I want to talk about now about how, how important is it to not only to ask for help when you need, when you see the need to, to ask someone for help as you want to progress in your career, but when you see that someone needs help or someone could, could be lifted up, how do you reach out to, to people and just make that happen the way you did for me? <laughs> um, so, so I remember that very well, and I have all the pictures to prove every single interview we have done with them. You know, when we, when we say we love our partners, um, again, it's not a cliche. They have invested heavily in really Cisco, in Cisco's culture, and Cisco's technologies, and so forth. And for me, um, that's a, that's a blessing, right? And for me, it gives me the you know the the chance and the honor and the opportunity to make sure I recognize each and every one of them. And to me, again, each partner is unique. Each partner has their own differentiation of doing things. And I what I respect and I love each one of them because they really. Um, have gone out of their way to make sure they're satisfying the customer. Remember, the utmost goal in here is how can we deliver products, services, cloud, managed, whatever that is, to the customer needs. And we all look to make sure that we are enabling our partners. So these interviews and many more at every Cisco Live that I do, I want to make sure that they understand and they know that Cisco will be right next to them in every step of the way. And I, I will take the time to make sure I don't overlook anyone. That's just me. Just to make sure everybody understand their, um, you know, what's in it for them how they can leverage Cisco, who are the resources, and what kind of resources. You know, when it comes to partners, it's 50-50, right? It's, this is how we integrate together. So, you know, these type of relationships, uh, Sylvia, um, help me to create a community of French, uh, friends. You know, I, I love my partners because most of them, I'm still in touch with them, whether I am working directly with them or not. I always seek their help because they help me progress with my career. I help them navigate the big Cisco. I help them navigate the technology. So, and there are three things that I always, um, I live by. And those three things, I think everyone should be able to really do those to make sure they accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. So the three things that I live by is follow up, follow on, and follow through, right? Those are three major things that will ensure that you are really covering and ensuring the, the relationship that you have with a partner, with a, you know, with a personal, whatever it is, those are the three things that will enable you to make sure that you are really covering everything that needs to be covered and to satisfy 
whoever you're working with. And if that is coming to get is coming back to me from the person that I'm working with, that becomes a true relationship. And that's exactly what is happening when I'm working with partners, with colleagues, with friends. I say, listen, I live by those three. And by the way, um, um, Sylvia, we will need another session to explain to you and the audience, follow up, follow on, and follow through. It, will, it made me successful, and it helped me to, be, to satisfy me that I covered all my you know, areas that I need to cover with wh whatever I do. By the way, it's not just business. It's business, personal, environment, whatever it is. If, if I, I stick with those, that helped me to really make sure that I am not missing anything that I need to do or to, need to accomplish. So let me make sure I got this right. Follow up, follow on, follow through. Follow I like through. that. Yeah, I like that. Follow well, through. I, I really want to thank you for your time and, and being here. Um, I, I'm going to call you later and ask you for advice on where I should take my career next because we're always growing, right? Even when we don't think we <laughs> are, we always growing. And don't worry, that's you can grow within your role. You can, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here, Dubnet, don't worry. But um, I, I really appreciate your guidance and your advice. And, and thank you for being my teacher and m making me feel like I was someone worth making the time for when I was just a kid with a backpack and a crummy phone. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate the, 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 the relationship. I appreciate the friendship. I appreciate you. You're awesome. You're always you're one of the hardest working women. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> yeah, you are, you absolutely are. And thank you so much. Thank you, Mo.